Can bad marketing actually be good marketing for your brand? Let's take a look. What's up everybody? My name is Jason from EO7 Media and 4 Love Films. ROI, or return on investment, is something that every brand or every business is constantly concerned about. Whether you're marketing through social media networks or you're actually paying for big commercial investments, ROI is extremely important. With that in mind, can bad marketing actually be a good thing? So my wife has been looking around Amazon for a new pair of sunglasses and she found one that she really liked and then she started digging into the details and the photos. And of course, I'm super interested in seeing anybody else's kind of marketing. So I look at the photos with her and we couldn't stop laughing. We're looking through the photos and looking at the sunglasses, trying to get a feel, it's like, would we like this? And we start digging into more and more photos, but then we start reading the text on the photos. Making you different. Wearing it, both fashion and taste is so simple. Making sunlight soft. Vision field being darkened, but life being lightened up? See world better. Such a big world. Please take me to see around. A kind of sworn confidence. No idea that it will double your popularity. No afraid of sunlight dazzling. And no fear of others' eyes. Yeah, it's funny because it's bad English, but it kind of got me thinking. In marketing, we're taught to really connect with your audience on a high level and your brand has to look great, it has to sound great, and we have to really scrutinize over everything we're saying. But check this out. This has 15,843 reviews at 4.5 stars. That's incredible. And yes, some brands on Amazon are known to give free products or discounts or whatever if you give them a five-star review. I don't know this brand. I don't know their policies. But I am extremely intrigued with that many reviews at that high of a star rate. So of course, we live in an augmentator society, which means while we love the product, the reviews are king. We can absolutely love the way these sunglasses look, but if they're not up to snuff and there's 15,000 reviews saying they're crap, I'm not gonna buy them, even if they look awesome. Maggie, stop licking the floor, please. So my wife went ahead and bought a pair and they're amazing. They're well-constructed, they look great, and there's no weird color tinge on the inside that sometimes these cheap sunglasses have. They're pretty great. So it got me thinking, can bad marketing actually be good marketing? No, I don't think they intended to have bad marketing here. The photos are gorgeous, and the way the font sits, the way everything's structured and everything looks, it looks fantastic. It's just weird English. Stop licking the floor. In this case, the sunglasses are kind of a cheaper product. They're not like $100 sunglasses. They were like 20 bucks. So I'm not as affronted by reading poor English translations, and I kind of, see its value and funness of it. Funness, is that a word? It's a word now. So basically what it boils down to is the product looked great, the marketing of it with the poor English made me laugh, I bought the product, I'm super happy with the product, what's the downside here? So I think sometimes having poor marketing might actually help your brand. Do I think this will work all the time? Absolutely not but it is something to consider. In a world where so much marketing looks carbon copy from the next person's marketing, it's kind of refreshing to see something unique and fresh, even if it's really poorly written, it still catches my attention and it brightens my day a little bit, causing me to hit that purchase button. Leave a comment down below and let me know something that you've bought in the past where the marketing was just kind of weird, kind of funny, kind of out of the box and that's why you bought the product. For example, I'm not a big drinker, but I bought a bottle of aviation gin because I really love Ryan Reynolds commercials. I think they're funny and I wanted to support what I enjoy. Granted, I've had one glass of it. I'm not a fan. So anyone who wants to come over and have a gin and tonic, you are welcome. Today, you're gonna act like Hulk and smash that like button. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I'm I want you to be better and do something awesome today. Haboo <gasps> Ram!